stay tuned till the end of the video for a channel announcement. Group B, known to many simply as the Golden Age of Rallying. Group B is put simply a set of rules used by... Oh Jesus, okay, four years of French and this is what I get. Fédération Internationale de l'Automobile, also known as the FIA, from 1982 to 1986. Compared to rally groups before, Group B had little rules on speed, power, and technology that could be used. This sparked rapid growth and increases in power. New crazy technology was created for the races and implemented. Normally, when manufacturers created rally cars, they had to create 4,000 or more roadworthy production cars and continue to produce those for the life of its rally counterpart. However, in Group B, they only needed a minimum of 200 production counterparts. This resulted in the companies making their cars as fast as they possibly could. The Group B era brought us some of the most insane cars ever to be made. Today, let's take a look at 8 of the best. Number 8. Peugeot 205 T16. <laughs> <laughs> The Peugeot had a 1.7 liter inline 4 turbocharged engine making 550 horsepower at 43 psi of boost. The T16 could go 0 to 60 in 4.5 seconds, and the road going model had a top speed of 132 miles an hour. It had a mid engine, all wheel drive layout that made it a monster when it came to grip. Number 7 Lancia 37. The <laughs> Thirty-seven had a two-liter inline-four supercharged engine making 325 horsepower at 13 psi of boost. The thirty-seven could go zero to sixty in 5.8 seconds and had a top speed of 140 miles an hour. It had a mid-engine rear-wheel drive layout to save weight when compared to its all-wheel drive and four-wheel drive rivals. Number six, Lancia Stratos. <laughs>
Stratus had a 2.4 liter Ferrari built V6 making 190 horsepower. The Stratus could go 0 to 60 in 6.8 seconds and had a top speed of 144 miles per hour. It had a mid-engine, rear-wheel drive layout. Its styling is classic, even if it's just barely part of the Group B class. Number 5. Metro 6R4 The 6R4 had a 3 liter V6 engine making 410 horsepower. The 6R4 could go 0 to 60 in 3.2 seconds and had a top speed of 120 miles per hour. It had a mid engine 4 wheel drive layout. The 6R4 is a quite popular Group B rally car known for staying naturally aspirated when all the other Group B cars were going with forced induction. Number 4 Porsche 959. Special stage over closed roads. Al Hajri is equal fastest sections. The rally was soon to run into evening time. Here in the Hazam stage, the illustration of this beautiful Omani scenery. This is in fact a dried up riverbed called a wadi. Twelve months ago, when the rally was held, it was a rush after a flash. The 959 has a 2.8 liter flat six twin turbo engine making 450 horsepower. The 959's production car could go 0 to 60 in 3.9 seconds and had a top speed of 195 miles per hour. It had a rear engine all wheel drive layout. The 959 is not as well known for its rally heritage, but more for how bonkers it was as a production car. It has been voted as one of the coolest cars of the 80s, and I completely agree. Number 3, Ford RS200. <laughs>
The RS200 has a 2.8 liter turbocharged inline 4, making 444 horsepower at 23 psi. It could go 0 to 60 in 3.8 seconds and had a top speed of 118 miles per hour. It had a mid engine all wheel drive layout. The RS200 also had another model called the Evolution. This car made anywhere from 550 to 850 horsepower and could go 0 to 60 in just over 2 seconds. The RS200 was a very balanced car, but was plagued with problems that kept it from being a champion. Number 2, Audi Sport Quattro S1 E2. Quattro had a 2.1 liter turbocharged engine making over 500 horsepower. It could go 0 to 60 in 3.1 seconds, and the road going model had a top speed of 137 miles per hour. It had a front engine, all wheel drive layout. The Quattro is legendary for its speed and innovations that it created in Group E, being the first car to take advantage of all wheel drive for rallying. Number 1 Lancia Delta S4. <laughs> Delta had a 1.8 liter super and turbocharged engine making 480 horsepower, but Lancia engineers managed to make over a thousand horsepower with higher boost. It could go 0 to 60 in 2 seconds on gravel and had a top speed of 140 miles an hour. It had a mid-engined all-wheel drive layout. The Delta S4 is in my opinion the most insane car ever made. Imagine what it could do on the road if it was able to manage 0 to 60 times of 2 seconds on gravel. In fact, it was such a crazy car that it killed its driver Toivonen and co-driver Sergio Cresto, shutting down Group B forever. That's it for today's video. Do you know an even crazier Group B rally car that missed the list? Comment it below or join our Discord server. We have finally passed 30k subscribers, and to celebrate we're doing a separate Q&A video with a couple of announcements. Leave your questions in the comments below, on our Discord server, or on Twitter, and we'll select a few to answer. Thanks for watching.